Work on a major road in Raleigh has come to a halt, and the city does not expect that to change anytime soon. City leaders say they do not expect the contractors on Atlantic Road, Atlantic Avenue winding project to ever hmm. finish the job. That's kind of hard to hear sometimes. CBS 17's Galat Malamud is live in Raleigh with what the city plans to do next. Throughout this stretch of Atlantic, there's still parts of the construction here from cones on the sidewalk to construction cones in the middle of the road. But yeah, the city said the problem is not much work is being done. And that's why in this memo, the city is asking the council to let it cut ties with the contractor on this project. Signs of construction line this one mile stretch of Atlantic Avenue. This is my daily routine is getting around this construction. Construction that's been at a near standstill for seven months, according to this memo from the City of Raleigh Engineering Services Department. In it, the Engineering Services Director writes there's, quote, strong evidence that Jay Smith Civil neither has the ability nor the intention to complete the project. I don't think people are too happy about this change without it being like seen all the way through just because like it's changed the whole traffic pattern and then now what are they going to do to fix it? The contractor, Jay Smith Civil, was scheduled to begin work in March 2022 to turn Atlantic Avenue from Highwood Boulevard to New Hope Church Road into this. But the city says the company has failed to maintain adequate manpower and stick to the project schedule, saying they completed just under 20 percent of the work when 74 percent of the contract time passed. The city also wants to end the contract due to, quote, minimal work since January, no project daily reports submitted since the end of March, and failing to make trenches safe at the end of each work day. The $11.6 million budgeted project was scheduled to be complete by early 2024. Until then, Lopez says construction is diverting cars to right outside her door. They always come here, actually, to turn around and go back that way. And so kind of creates a little traffic in this uh, circle here. Lopez has this ask as she lives in a work zone in limbo. I just hope this gets, you know, resolved pretty soon here. The memo says that Jay Smith Civil hasn't provided the city a substantive response since the city let them know in late June it was looking to end this contract. I reached out to Jay Smith Civil to ask them about all of this and have not heard back yet. The city has not said how this will impact the project end date. Live in Raleigh, Gulat Malamud, CBS 17 News.